Hello, hello guys. Welcome to the third part of Ecology of Serendia. Today we will be talking about insects. Right now I am located in uh, Alejandro Farm, just northwest of Heidel. And uh, what we're looking for here are, okay, the beehive, pouch parasitic bee, barrel parasitic bee, tiny bee, and the beetle. The pouch and barrel parasitic bee, they're going to be in the actual Alejandro farm. You just go around, they're all over. The pouch parasitic bee are these white bags. And here's the barrel. So they move, they shake a little, so that's how you know they have um, parasites in there, in them. And therefore, that that distinguishes, for instance, the regular barrel and the parasitic one. Okay, and then we have the beehive, uh, the beetle, and the tiny bee. Those are going to be across from here. Okay, here's some beetles, and here's the tiny bee, so lots of tiny bees, more beetles, the beehives, okay, they're going to be, you have to kind of look up, but they're going to be on top, up top of the trees. more there's some more okay I've used um, a match lock on it before I do not recall if you can actually get knowledge by um, hitting it with with a match lock I don't think so So I don't think you can, but uh, um, it's worth trying. Just keep hitting with your normal weapon, and if that doesn't work, try with the with the matchlock. All right. Okay. So next, next we are going to look for. The acid spider and the acid spider den. Those are going to be located around this area. So we're going to head that way. So I am uh, at uh, Coast. To farm. And we're looking for the acid spider in the acid spider den. And it's going to be mainly around here. So the acid spider, you can see them from far. They're these white spiders here. You'll see some are red as well. So you see all these that look like eggs walking. That's the spiders. If you see these things that look like rocks, those are the dens, the acid spider dens. You see a lot of spiders around and the dens. So there are a lot of dens around here. Here's the red one. 
Also, if you get close to these trees on the edges here, you'll see a lot of bush spiders pop up. You can take advantage of that and also try and get your bush spider. There, there are other spots where you can get them. Where there are a lot of them, but you can start here if you want while you're killing the spiders and the dens. All right. Next, we need the conch parasitic bee. And that is near the orc and the watchtower. If you remember in the previous um, in the part two. I showed the location of the scary salamanders. It's the exact same area. O these are going to be in the same area. So, along the creek and the river. Meet you guys there. We're just outside the org camp. North of the watchtower. And the northwestern gateway is right here. I left my horse just before the bridge because it seems to be um, a safe spot for it. The conch parasitic bee is what we're looking for. And it's going to be along the river. You see also the scary salamanders that I mentioned in part two. Parasitic bee has a shell. So you'll find them along the river. Just keep going all the way down. You'll there will be another river and they're all over that area. Next thing we're looking for are the big bush spider and the bush spider. And the bush spiders are all over, but it seems to be, there seem to be a lot of them around this area, so, and the big bush spiders. So, around this area, here's Glish. So, let's go find them. So I moved south to the southwestern gateway. Because there seem to be a lot of big bush spiders here. On either side of the gate you have plenty of big bush spiders. And just the regular bush spiders as well. You'll see a lot of these uh, webs, but they are not attackable, unfortunately. You have to get the knowledge for them from an NPC in Glish. Both the cobweb and the regular spider have to be um, through, you have to gain the knowledge through Emity in Glish. Cobweb and the spider, regular spider. So that's where we'll be heading next. Is all right. So I'm in English now, and we're looking for cobweb and spider. These will be granted by NPCs through Amity Games or Amity with them. So cobweb is given by Amaranto, which is the arms dealer. 
Weapons on the bottom left choice. part of the, Get rid of the thought that it isn't. screen here you can see that the cobweb requires 200 points of emity with Amarano. So you can either get this points through conversation, through the emity game, and once more, if this is an NPC who's a friendly NPC who s socializes and all that is friendly, you can easily get those points. If it's a hard one, you may have to greet to get those points. So you're looking for here is any characters that have a sparking interest of 100% and that give a lot of points by having a conversation about them. If, he, if it's a tough NPC um, and you can't get the Amity points, you can always greet. Just hit, hit uh, F5. <laughs> That will remove three points from your energy points and will grant those three it points that I lost into the, the Amity. Kardash, it was the bet being awkward to begin with. This is where it comes in handy uh, to have a lot of characters, to make characters just to share those energy points because they are shared between all of them. So you'll have, like, I have 535, I'll have the same amount in every single character and that way you can get these knowledges easily or quickly. So Amaranto will give you the cobweb and then you're looking for Alan who's a stable keeper. If it's too and you need 250 wild points to get the sugar. spider which is the creature with many legs. After more so same thing, lumps. you can either do the conversation play the Amity game, or greet him. And this will finish the insects for the ecology of Serendia. The next thing that will, the fourth part is going to be the monsters, the actual monsters for the Serendia of, uh, the ecology of Serendia, I'm sorry. So I'll see you then.